Nobody's going to break you down here. Nobody's going to kill me. Nobody. I want you to tell that to yourself. This is the beginning for you. Now on, you are going to be better, but you have to believe that. My name is Luisa Diaz Brown. I am the founder of Luisa Diaz Foundation, Mad Gala, and the Wrong Way of Hope. I grew up in Venezuela with my beloved grandparents. When I was a little girl, I remember I was like maybe five years old, and I would see the abuse, my grandfather abusing physically my grandmother. My grandmother, I adored my grandmother, and the abuse was real bad that we had to sleep on the street. It was 15 children, no education, nowhere to go. She left and she never, never looked back. She is my hero. My grandmother is my hero. When I, I become successful in my own rights, I want to do something for the community. I want to give back to the community. I do what I do with my organization, celebrating these courageous, resilient ladies in my grandmother's honor. The Runway of Hope is not your conventional fashion show. The Runway of Hope is a celebration of these courageous, resilient ladies who are survivors of domestic violence and human trafficking. The walk on the Runway of Hope signifies the transition from a place of darkness to a place of hope and light. I wanted to be able to um, help these ladies after they go through a, a program through the organization. I count at the end and I help them build in their self-esteem. I help them to remind them how beautiful and worthy they are. It was years of physical and verbal and emotional abuse. I was in an abusive relationship for about 10 years. There's hard days and easier days, but mostly days of feeling bad and guilty. When I met my abuser, I was 22 years old. It will start off by verbal abuse, and then it'll start from control. Then it'll move up from physical and then mentally just comes along with everything else you've experienced. I woke up in a pool of blood and my kids were there. So that was the most important thing for me at that time. When my life flashed before me and I said, I can't do this anymore. And so why didn't you just take your children and go? Go where? I just was depressed. I kind of felt like there was no way out and I was nervous to leave. I just didn't have the means to leave. So I, I kind of held on, you know. And in the interim, I was like losing my sight more, which was really hard. When you have your life threatened, you it's, it's really hard and it's real. Because you're fighting a, a battle in your head. You're fighting a physical battle and you're fighting a battle in your heart. The signs were, there were many looking back. I never saw signs. I was blinded by love. Who can see the signs there? But I knew the moment that I had enough. I just felt like I can't go on like this. I have to make a change. And, um, and I did. I don't know how I can do this anymore. I, I don't know if I'm ready to leave, she said. You're never gonna be ready. You just have to do it afraid. I thought I'd have to save my kids. I have to get out. And what made me leave was my children were witnessing it. I had to keep me and my children safe. It sounds crazy, but I heard this voice that said, life as you now know it is over. I just realized it can't get any worse. There's nothing more to be afraid of. Luisa taught us how to feel confident and walk towards the light, always looking towards the light. Uh, that made me feel very confident and yeah, own myself and know my worth and always look towards the light instead of facing down. It's like finding myself again. Like I feel like everything I used to love and find joy in, 
I, I'm myself again. So when Luisa was training me, I just remember this little like ray of sunshine, like just this, the love that poured out of her, which she was absolutely amazing from the beginning of training until the end of that show. You are so much stronger than you believe you are. And there are people that will help you. You deserve. You deserve love. You deserve to be free. You deserve to live this beautiful thing called life. Just focus on yourself and you're, you're gonna see the light one day. No matter, right now it's a thunderstorm, but after every thunderstorm there's a rainbow. You are beautiful and worthy of all good things. Do not fear. God is with you. From the cocoon to the butterfly, you are finally free to fly. Lane, Val, and Sylvia will be models in a unique fashion show that's part of the fifth annual Mia Moore Gala. I am beautiful. I am worthy. Night is complete with a runway of hope where survivors dress up, they're honored, they get to walk a runway to show their strength. This is the token for you to never forget how beautiful and worthy you are. I have the greatest, greatest gift when the ladies come to me um, after the runway of hope and they tell me that for the first time in a long time, they feel beautiful. And when they do that, I say, oh, I think I had done my job here. I believe in kindness. Kindness is cool. Let's celebrate each other and let's be kind with each other. What is the price I have to to pay to make all this pain go away teach me the prayer i have to sing to find all the love life's yet to bring and where is the girl with the stars in her eyes who dreamed of a world where love could survive where did she go? Whatever happened to her? When did the spring turn to winter? Then you came along with a hope and a smile. You lifted me up, yet still all the while. You taught me to stand and to never look back. To believe in my strength. And not would I lie When did the world slowly turn away? When did the shadows find my heart to stay? Where is the girl with the hope in her eyes? Where did she go? When did she die?